Uh, hi, my name is Jiří Sládek. I'm uh, from Metaphor, small brewing project located in Czech Republic. Um, and I like to focus mostly on beers of spontaneous fermentation uh, because those beers uh, easily are much more easier defined by time and place. That's something really important to capture and, uh, in the beers and capture this essence in the beer. What capacity, how much are you producing right now? Very, very, very little beer. Uh, last, uh, I would say, it's several thousand bottles a year so far. So, and it's, uh, so far I'm doing it, everything alone with my two hands and it's time consuming, uh, uh, I would say, a project. So it's uh, slowly and organically growing. That's also important for me to grow organically and keep the quality and the vision. Where was your inspiration from? Obviously we know the Lambics uh, and the Gerses of Belgium. Is the, where was your inspiration from? Maybe as he mentioned uh, at the beginning, it definitely it was Lambic beer, uh, uh, Belgian beer culture, or like the influence with some, let's say maybe American brewers doing similar styles. Uh, but and also like mo lately the, my biggest source of inspiration is like natural wine movement uh, uh, and also inspiration is coming from everywhere so mostly uh, over time it, it, the, the idea became cultivated with many different influences and it's, uh, it came to be that I want to make beers that are relevant to time and place honest products of an environment where I come from and they should have a good energy and should be joy to drink. And many times they are spontaneously fermented, uh, although I make some odd lagers to the mix because I'm very passionate about lager beers. Drinkability is a forgotten art, I would say, in beer. Uh, and uh, I want to make beers that are basically joy to drink and are honest products, not extreme. And uh, that's it, yeah. What's the appetite for spontaneously fermented beers in the Czech Republic? Ooh. I don't know because mostly like the all interest is coming from abroad so although it's, it is changing rapidly and there are other producers making uh, spontaneous beer or uh, undefinedly sour beer as a flavor like acidity let's say a modern sour beers, kettle sours are definitely very popular so, but spontaneous beer per se is, uh, people do not know much about it. I think it's very similar to Belgium is outlier in the world and the producers making similar styles of beer face similar challenges uh, everywhere, yeah. So. I was surprised you saying uh, lager, the lost art of lager. Czech Republic was known for lagers, isn't it? No. Or pills type beer. I didn't say a lot. I think it was like okay. drinkability, not yeah. lost art of lager, but I think like I feel that uh, nowadays in modern beer, however we would define it, drinkability is a second a miss afterthought. It's just uh, I think I would say also uh, me coming from an environment where beer is mostly focusing on drinkability and having this utilitarian uh, use. Uh, it's important. So many times beers taste good, but they don't drink well. And also I think it's just something I would like to cultivate more in my beers. Uh, because uh, many times I see it with the wine making in, uh, I would say movement, that just they also focus on drinkability. And, uh, and they have much higher alcohol content and it's just, you drink it like nothing. And many times with these beers, we spend a lot of time and energy and they maybe aren't tasting good but they don't they don't drink that well you know like drink whole bottle alone for example or like so so that's so i say i like to cultivate more i'm not saying i'm succeeding 100 percent all the time you always fail either way you want or you not you fail to succeed after you all. you have to fail to succeed and then you fail better another yeah. time and you fail better and then so drinkability is something that uh, i would say it's just a uh, little forgotten and like simplifying is also something that i'm trying to cultivate these qualities or principles i think i would say it's not even a technique it's more a principle 
that what I would like to embody in the beers. So beers that speak, that are local, relevant, speak of a time, place, uh, and uh, using various techniques or ingredients local that uh, would get bit into the bottle and in, in the end of the day should feel good to drink because a little celebration of life, you know, it is a beer in the end, so let's not complicate it too much. Excellent. And uh, what's your background? How did you come to do this? <laughs> it's funny. It's, um, my background is completely different from beer. I studied Arabic uh, and Persian language and Middle Eastern studies at the university and uh, beer. And prior to beer, I had a specialty coffee background, so working in specialty coffee, it was long my passion. But as an avid home brewer, it just this, uh, the beer bug was growing on me too much, so, and I gave up everything and focused 100% uh, on the beer, so because I eventually, that's just my like new, new, newfound, I would say, passion. That's I also, it's that I want to make something of it, you know, like and do something you want to do. Do something I want to do, do uh, do sustainable business, so I could provide for my family. So it shouldn't be just art, 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 but feeling the. The business aspect should be sustainable and you know and um, like honest product so I could uh, put out something I like into the world and get rewarded and being able to provide for my family what's next for, for you uh, uh, growing your that's a good question because there's two, a lot of things I wanna perfect and improve upon but since now I struggle with not having enough beer but maybe now I know what to answer. I need to get more system into what I'm doing. So now I'm just struggling with not having enough beer, but now I need to more structure the business or like the whole production and trying to find a rhythm within a year. Since whole year is changing, uh, it's like dynamic and every several months you do something different and I'm still learning how to do it comfortably because uh, uh, I didn't know how to do it so now trying to find a good rhythm within those 12 months knowing when I need to do what and feels natural because it is a lifestyle because I a brewery I would say because uh, my life depends on it and also and I want to cultivate something nice for my life not to make it a burden make it uh, actually pleasant Stressful. It is many times actually very stressful, you know, when you, actually when you want to deliver, I, I have so much respect for anybody who delivers something, whatever it is, product, service, but delivers, because easy to promise, but uh, very difficult to deliver. And uh, so putting product in the hand of a customer or whoever, it's uh, there's a lot of challenges along the way, so it's not always pretty and many times it's stressful. So, but uh, you learn as you go, and uh, trying to find a kind of something that is natural, not finding too much, you know, like find the right amount of the str struggle yeah, and balance. stress. As I'm trying to find some balance, you know, I'm uh, 38 now, so turning on Monday 38. So it's, um, uh, I think that's something I'm trying to find in my life, you know, like a little balance. Uh, and how did you end up here? Uh, I was invited uh, last minute because I met with uh, JC uh, at the uh, Mikeller beer celebration in Copenhagen and we clicked and I liked their beers and uh, we talked and he invited me to as a last minute and it's a pleasure for me to be here uh, because uh, there's a, a lot of breweries I had always looked up to as an inspiration and this is very niche festival I would say like this whole farmhouse tradition uh, it's something that is really appealing to me. So uh, it is an honor and I'll sometimes I feel like how the hell did I end up here? Uh, you know among these legends, so it's uh, well, wonderful it's, it is it is it is it is it is something special to yeah. like and this And you learn from other brewers and maybe get inspired and they can get inspired. It keeps going. It's yeah. just the circle keeps going, you know, it just uh, uh, Yeah, that's life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.